All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Half past seven one nine. Um. Anyway, it's weird. I got a uh, bought that chainsaw yesterday, and uh, I want to go over some stuff with it real quick because I was running it and the chain kept falling off and I couldn't figure it out why. Kept messing with it, messing with it. It kept getting hot. So here's the chainsaw. Oh. So it's a nice chainsaw. It's a 450 Husqvarna Rancher, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know what the deal is. Why does it look so yellow on my display? I promise it's orange. All right, there you go. Um, anyway, <clears throat> it's really nice. Works really good. It was like brand new. Um, the guy barely even used it. And what he did use it for, um, was, I don't know if it's everywhere, but at the dumps, uh, waste management dumps. So they run all their stuff off ethanol from, uh, gases from the trash, the gases the trash produces. So, um... Yeah, so they run PVC pipe, they channel all the gases. Anyway, this guy, the company that he worked for, they installed that pipe. They install pipes um, for old dump sites, new dump sites, whatever. Anyway, so they use the chainsaws for cutting the PVC pipe. And I think, uh, if I remember right, he said it was 8 inch or 10 inch diameter PVC pipe. Um, and that's what they use the chainsaws for. Well, <clears throat> I guess... California, I don't know if it's California or OSHA or who it is. Anyway, they went out there to their site, saw them using 20-inch chainsaws, and told them they cannot use 20-inch chainsaws because if they're cutting 10-inch <clears throat> pipe or 8-inch pipe, uh, they have this much of the chain exposed and dangerous and could kill somebody, could do whatever. Anyway, so they shut them all down, and the company that he worked for, <clears throat> I guess, goes through a lot of these chainsaws, and I'll show you why they go through a lot of these chainsaws. Um, anyway, they took all the new ones, old ones, and they gave them to employees, and so he had three of them. Um, he had one that he was keeping that was brand, brand new. He had this one, and the other one were both used, slightly used. And uh, I'll show you why he was selling it. Um, but anyway, so on the ad, he had it. <clears throat> he had it just like it is, obviously cleaner, because I did go use it and cut some wood. Um, the the bars, you when you change the chain or you uh, sharpen the chain, they say to flip the bar. So you get wear over here, and then you flip it, and you get wear over there. It's basically, you know, you're just alternating the bar. So it's it's not upside down. It is upside down from brand new, but it's not upside down. Anyway, <clears throat> I learned that from just because of a chain. The chain he had on here was the wrong chain. And it kept coming off on me, and it kept catching. Let's see if I can show this in here. So, you have this. This is a little oil galley, oil pump, where the oil squirts onto the chain. And then you have this. This is a chain guard. Um, it catches the chain. Anyways, as you can see, it's all gnarled up. It wasn't gnarled up when I bought it. Um, basically, it was pretty much brand new. Um, but he said that he just put a new chain on it. So, I fired it up. Boom, chain fell off. So, and it was really loose. Um, anyway, I don't want to make this into like a tutorial video or how-to video because I don't know nothing about stupid chainsaws. But, so I kept messing with it. He did give me two chains, which I thought was, was cool. But, however, this chain that was on it is wrong. And I kept messing with it because that chain... This chain that's on it now is brand new, and I'm like, well, I don't want to ruin a brand new chain. So it turns out this is 80, 
in there. So they have an 80, whatever. And this is supposed to be a 30. So this one says 30 in there somewhere. So basically, it's the diameter or the distance between the three links, one, two, three, um, divided by two, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so as you can see, this one, the links are a lot farther apart. So let's just say, let's just line it up. As you can see, this already is sitting farther back. Anyway, it was a long chain. It cut good, but then it started pinching because the thickness of this, this little galley right there where the chain rides is thicker on this chain. And where this little cog gear in here is, because those are wider, it kept on popping off. You can see it's all scratched and everything from it popping off. Anyway, so... Last night I did research, I was looking it up, because I don't know nothing about chainsaws other than to mix fuel, add oil for the chain bar, and uh, to run them, keep them clean, basically maintain them. That's all I know about them. I don't know any of this other crap that I learned last night. But anyway, so yeah, that's the wrong chain. <clears throat> so I'm assuming this chain is for another different style chainsaw. Um... But anyway, so I used this chain last night. It started raining, and of course I couldn't do any any filming, any video. I was going to do some videoing, but the stupid chain kept falling off. So anyway, now I got the right chain on. So now I just got to adjust it. Manual says to make sure that there's no slack. Like right when you get rid of it, right when the slack basically gets like there and can still move freely. That's how tight they want it. So, um, yeah. So let me show you why they were getting rid of them. Okay, so while I was messing with everything and finding out all these problems, why the chain wasn't riding in that bar, and made a mess over here. So where that chain rides, so you see I have a little file, picks. So there's a little... Uh, oil galleys in that bar so you got the if this is the bar let's say this is the bar there'll be a hole here and then on the other side there'll be a hole here and then when that bar mates up to the chainsaw there's a little oil galley that goes in feeds oil into this hole and then lubricates the whole bar with the chain you know the chain slides so it's like a whole uh, lubricating channel so I don't know if you can see this stuff this is all PVC, all plastic. So this little chunks right here were all plugged into the holes, the holes on both sides of the bar. And then all this was inside the bar, inside where the chain rides. So anyway, I took a razor knife, just anything I can get super thin and uh, yeah, I was taking all this stuff out. This is all PVC plastic. So I'm assuming that's why they're getting rid of those so much. And they're, he said that they would go through a lot of chainsaws. <clears throat> is because they were not, the bars were not getting any, any oil. They weren't, they weren't getting any oil. Now, keep in mind it is plastic. So I don't know if you're cutting plastic with a chainsaw. I don't know if it needs oil, needs lubricant or not. But anyway, yeah, this was all stuck in the channel of that bar. Um, a lot of it. And, uh, yeah, so I learned a lot last night. Freezing cold. So now that I got the chainsaw all dialed in, uh, I can go cut some more wood. Um, but anyway... I did with the bad chain, I did cut a bunch of wood. So here's my little echo chainsaw. I like that little chainsaw. I did give the I did give the other Husqvarna. I gave the other Husqvarna away to a friend at work. 
and uh, yeah, so I came out here cutting the wood. It cut through this stuff like nothing, like butter, even with the wrong chain. And then now I got this big old pile of junk over there, pile of this because I cut. As you can see, I'll walk over there. I just don't want to walk over there. My kids, it's about my kids' room. Anyway, I have all that to go through. With all the logs. And then we have, that was a big tree that went from the edge of the house all the way to there. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, but, yeah, <clears throat> so, I don't know everything. I do learn stuff as I go. I do watch other channels, YouTube channels. I also did learn in something else about the log, whatever the thing's called, a chipper shredder. Um, to help it stop leaking fuel. Turns out it is not the... Uh, it is not the uh, float. Um, it's something else. By the way, I cut this last night once I got the chain actually on there. So here's the cut, and this is this is pretty heavy wood, you know, because it's still wet. So anyway, that is probably gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment below, let me know what you guys think. I know Orion Fixer, your stuff works good. Um, by the way, I'm one in Glenn, send Honest Bill over here, tell him to come help me uh, load some wood or uh, put some wood away, I guess. By the way, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.